All right, so let's crack on with part three. I don't know where I am. So in the last uh, episode, we set up the uh, transition to flying by pressing E, and then when it transitions to flying, he will then fly. So we have the state of him just gliding, uh, sorry, hovering, and then I think that's his glide. Now, he, he does have a... Um, uh, where he flaps his wings a little bit more in the fly, but we need to sort out the movement speed for all that. So we're going to do that either in this video or the next. We're going to look at changing the movement mode and also the launchers because we want to launch the character into the air when when we transition. We don't want him to just be on the ground like that. So let's, that can be the first thing we do. Let's play around with the launch. So I just want to uh, drag a selection box over that, hit C, and call this transition to flying. All right. So once we are in the air, so I think we will do the launch here, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. So I drag that out there a little bit to give us some room. And when we transition to flying, we want to launch character. Now, if you open up your viewport, and you, here you can see we want to launch him on the Z. Okay, so you can, if you're ever in doubt of which as Z generally is always up, uh, except for in some programs, but generally Z is up. Um, and then obviously you've got your X and Y, which in different programs are on different sides, which can be a bit frustrating. Uh, but in this, so we want to launch him on the Z. Okay, so. Let's just play around with this. And we will create a variable for this called launch uh, power. Maybe launch height. Okay, that sounds okay. I'm just going to put a capital there. Right, so launch height, and that's going to be a vector. Okay. So whatever number we place in here, maybe actually that's not the right thing to do. Because what we'd have to do now is right-click and split the pin structure, okay? And then it actually wants a float. So, right, we're not going to do that. So delete the launch height. So just control Z, control Z, go back here. Delete this. And then we'll just put it in a number in here. So we'll start out with 500. So we'll launch in 500 and see how that goes. So let's just hit play, hit E. Okay, so that barely launches him. All right, barely. Let's see what happens if we use this Z override. Let's have a look what happens then. So E, again, that's no launch whatsoever. He's barely in the air. So 500 is no good, so let's try 5,000. Compile should definitely give us more of a... A launch okay yeah are we still launching upwards no so 5,000 oh I'm coming down why was I coming down oh that's right because we actually have to switch over to flying mode as well or else we'll just come back down gravity will you know bring us back down so that's fine so 5,000 is far too much so I'm just gonna go 1500 compile and then hit E Ah, and there I am in the air, and I'm going to come back down because I haven't turned on flying mode. So let's go do that. So when we launch character, and then we'll do that after the delay, I think. We might have to put in another delay, but we'll see. So we will uh, set movement mode to flying. Okay, and hit compile. It should be as simple as that. E, launch. Now I'm in the air. And am I falling? No, I'm not falling. Now I can fly around. But it's always in the glide pose because we are. I haven't set that up exactly how I want it. If I stop flying, I go into my idle, so where I'm hovering. All right, that looks great. And it didn't take a long time to set up, which is awesome. Okay, so let's go and have a look at that movement stuff then. So 
Um, like we said before, I don't think we actually want this glide dependent on speed, or do it? Let's let's have a look. So, open up the character, and we'll just drag that over now because that's that should work. That that does work, should I say? Um, what was I going to do? All right, let me just right. So play now. Let's have a look at this launch. So I am actually launched into the air before the animation has a chance to play. So let's go back to this takeoff, and let's just pause it and see at what time. Just hide that. What time does he actually jump here? So he jumps 1.5 seconds into the animation. So we need to go back to our Anim BP. No, our uh, Dragon BP. And before we do this, we want a delay of 0 0.5. Now we're going to have to take that off the delay the other end because we're going to have to take that off here, I believe. So we'll set that to 1.2. Now let's have a look at that. So I press E. Yeah, that looks better. And then I'm into my flying. So there is a little bit of a problem in where I fly, but I don't come to a halt when I take my finger off the button. There's like, so let's have a look at that. So go to uh, Dragon BP, go to his character movement, and come to flying. And here, braking deceleration is at zero. So if we put that up to quite a high number, like 500 maybe, and hit compile, I don't think we'll have that problem. I think he'll come to a stop. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, movement speed. That's what we were going to do before. Right, so go in here, and then we'll have a variable called... Uh, Gliding. Gliding, and we'll have that be a Boolean. Okay. So here, so when we transition to flying, we were setting the movement mode to flying. We also want to, uh, from the character movement, so drag that up and drag out, set max fly speed, and we'll... If we just go back to the blend space and just see how we set that up. So flying blend space. Let's open that up. So uh, that's walking blend space. Flying blend space. So at... Oh, it's the green one you want to move. So at 400, he's uh, flying. So I could set the speed to... Hmm... I'm going to move that up here a little bit to 600, okay? I'm going to move that to 600, and then I'm going to keep that 800. All right, so you'll see what I'm going to do with that in a second. So um don't need the animation blueprint open. So we're going to set the max walk speed to uh, fly speed to 600. Plug that in. Plug that in. Okay, and then to get the uh, glide to happen randomly and every so often, and I'm also going to bump up the speed every so often a little bit, I'm going to, um, I'm going to have a tick. So event tick, and then a delay. And then from the delay, drag out and type random flow in range. Hmm. Um, we don't want this to happen though when we we only want this to happen when we are flying at full speed. Uh, so we might just want to do a check to see if yeah. So I think what we can do is event tick, do a branch, and then we want to get max. Of 
Uh, it prefer- drag in the character movement component, and we want to get Max f- flying. Get max fly speed. Okay, and we want to know if that is equal or greater. Flow is equal or greater to 600. Okay, and if it is, if that is true, then we want the delay. And have the random float in range. So drag out for that and type random float in range. Now this range is going to be how often the uh, the uh, the dragon speeds up and goes into his glide animation. So for testing, I'm going to set that to be every you know five to ten seconds, let's say. Play around with that later. I'm, in fact, I'm going to put a little comment on that that tells me what that does. So that sets uh, cool down for glide, let's say. Um, and if that is the case, then we just want to set max. So we've got this here. So we're going to copy CV because we want to set max fly speed to be 800. Let's complete and do that. And then again, we want another delay. So CV and we want that to be random again. And this is going to be how long he actually stays in that state. Okay. So we'll copy this CV, and I, but I want that to be shorter. So between two and four seconds, let's say. Um, once that's completed, we just want to go back. So once that's done, we'll go back here to check to see if the speed, and if it is, it's just continuously loop. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, we need to drag in the character movement for that. Hit compile, hit E to get into the air. I'm 600, so I'm traveling it. And he goes into his glide, stays into it for a random amount of time. Hmm. Staying in his, oh no, he's not. Oh, he is staying in his glide. It's only when I'm turning that he's playing the Okay, let's see what the problem is with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to print... We're going to print the string for this here. So let's just drag out of the uh, max, max fly speed and type print string. Plug the green into the pink. All right, so can I... How long have I got? All right, we're going to have to wrap this up soon. So I press E to get into the air. It says I'm going 600. I think if I go into, I think the problem is, is that we've got it set to 800, so he's always traveling at 800. So if I go to character movement, Come over to flying and set the base to be back down to 600. And then hit compile. Does that fix that problem? So E into the air. So he's flying. Goes into his glide. Does he go back into... Should only be for random two to four seconds. No, that's not fully working. Don't know why. So, right. So let's just go back to um, here and see if we can identify the problem. If not, we'll just set it up in a different way. So flying, transition to fly. That's all. Yeah, that's all good. Let's have a look at the blend space. Oh, it's six 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 that he does. So uh, let's add another couple of grid divisions. So set that to eight, and then yeah. So place that bang on six hundred. 
Let's have a look at that. So press E, launch. We're traveling 600 speed, so he's, and then he's going into that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because that isn't working and I don't know why, and it doesn't make sense anyway that it's just going to r randomly speed you up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a speed boost in instead so you can control that. That seems to make more sense anyway. Um, so just to fix the problem we're having now, I'm going to get rid of that glide out of the blend space, and I'm just going to place the flapping wings right at the end. All right, so we're only going from that idle now to that, and we will add in the glide as a boost. That, that I think that's a better idea anyway. So, and we fly. All right, so now we we can't land though. All right, that's probably what we'll do in the next video is have the full loop so that he can land on the ground. Um. And, you know, we can get back to the ground. And then we'll put in the attacks and do all that sort of stuff. And we've got to put in that glide because I definitely want that in there. Okay, so um, we'll call that a day here and I'll see you in the next one.